Hello boys and girls, and welcome to my preview of Arsenal versus Huddersfield this Wednesday night. Now, we need to keep the momentum going. Brilliant, brilliant result at the weekend at Burnley. We left it very late. Yeah, we kind of snatched the points, um, because to be fair, a draw was probably a fair result. Burnley played really, really well, put us under a lot of pressure in the first half, stuck a lot of balls in the box, and we dealt with it. We manned up. We showed some balls. Um, so that was a nice thing. If we didn't pick up the three points, then the result against Tottenham would have been pointless. You look at the results from the weekend with Spurs drawing at West Brom, Liverpool and Chelsea drawing. It was a massive chance for us. And luckily, we took that chance. Huddersfield, it would be a totally different game. Um, I'm hoping that their efforts against Man City will actually work against them. And come around about the 60, 70th minute mark, they'll be absolutely shattered against us. They put a great effort in against Man City. They were leading at one point, and they were about five minutes away from actually getting the draw. So they were a little bit unlucky, and it won't be an easy game. I know they've got a player suspended, um, La Pajara, I believe it's pronounced, I'm not too sure. Um, he got sent off at the full time whistle, so that'd be a loss for them. But in terms of R1 to 11, I think there's going to be a few changes for this game, bearing in mind that we've got Manchester United on Saturday. That, I feel, is where we've got a bit of a luxury compared to Huddersfield, the size of the squads. So with that said, I'm going to get into the 1 to 11. You know what to do. Let me know in the comments section whether you agree or not or what you would change. I'm going to go with what I feel Arsenal will go with. Bearing in mind, like I said, with Manchester United coming up, the fact that we play Burnley three games in six days, I do think this will be the one where we make changes. In goal, we're going to start off with Petr Cech. Straightforward decision. He's been really good the last couple of games. Hopefully that can continue. In the back three, this is where I think there will be a change. I think that Lauren Koscielny is going to come out. Now, we know that he's got a history of Achilles problems and he has to be managed game by game. Now, like I said... With Man United coming up, three games, six days, it could be a bit too much for him. So I think this is the one where he will get a rest. In his place, I'm going to stick Mertesacker, and then alongside him will be Mustafi and Monreal. In the right wing back role, we're going to go with Hector Bellerin. Quite an easy decision. Um, he's a young lad, full of energy, um, and he's doing all right at the moment, so... I don't think that one will change. In the left wing back role, we're going to go with Kalazinak, doing really well at the moment. And because we haven't really got many options down that left-hand side, I don't think that will change either. Going into central midfield, now again, this is where I think there's going to be some changes. Um, I heard that Aaron Ramsey picked up a little knock, but also because he does have a history of muscle problems, again, the factor of three games in six days, I feel may come in and Aaron Ramsey may be rested for this one. So in his position, I'm going to bring Jack Wilshere. I think he changed the game against Burnley. He added that drive in the team. He added that little bit of injection that we were missing. And it turns out it actually worked, didn't it? So... That's what I'm going to go with, Jack Wilshere. Alongside him, I'm going to go with Granit Xhaka. Played really well against Burnley. Got stuck in there. Made a really great tackle at one point in the second half where he flew in. Absolutely beautiful tackle. I'm happy with the way he's playing at the moment. Just in front, I'm going to go with Alex Awobi. Um, done the defensive side the other day. Wasn't that great attacking-wise, but I think that he'll get a chance being at home against Huddersfield. Can't see Mesut Ozil being fit for this one. Arsene Wenger's already said about his illness. Um, and that he will be short for this game. So the option that I'll go with is Alex Awobi. Just in front, we're going to go with Alexis Sanchez. Didn't have the greatest of games, let's be honest, against Burnley. Tried his hardest, but just couldn't really get into it. But when it mattered, he stepped up, he scored the winning goal. So Alexis Sanchez goes in there. Up front, this is where I feel there will also be another change, and I'm going to bring Danny Welbeck in ahead of Lacazette. Um, Lacazette's done nothing wrong. I'm absolutely happy with the way he's been playing. But again, the factor of three games, six days comes in. Um, and I feel this is an area where we've got strength. So Arsene may freshen it up a little bit. Lacazette can come on in the last 20 minutes. Um, and maybe he can get some chances when the game starts to really open up, which would be nice as well. Um, get him on the scoreboard again. But yeah, for this game, I'm going to go with Danny Welbeck. So there we have it. That is the predicted 1-11. to That's the preview. Pretty straightforward. Let me know in the comments section whether you agree or not. Let me know what your 1-11 to will be. Like I said, three games, six days, it's a lot. And we do have the Christmas period coming up. So I think that with all due respect to Huddersfield, 
this is the kind of game where we should be making some of these changes. The players that we're bringing in are not going to weaken the side. Um, and I'll be looking forward to see how they perform, especially the likes of Jack Wilshere. Now, if you're new round here, you know what to do if you haven't already. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And like I always say, it's over to you lot now, Arsenal. I'm out of here.